Hey, Rhino Cats, Miss Mary Louise here. Welcome to Language Tuesday. Um, every Tuesday for ELA, we're going to come together and talk about all things language. Um, when we talk about language, we talk about, we're talking about how we communicate with each other. Um, and we have practiced languages before together um, when we have practiced Spanish, like with our Spanish words of the day, um, with learning sign language. And we've even um, learned how to write and code. Um, but today, uh, for our Language Tuesday, we're going to be talking about the type of language that focuses on how we write, the grammar we use, parts of a sentence, how we write a sentence with proper capitalization, punct punctuation, vocabulary, etc. Um, so today, I really want to focus and talk about synonyms. So synonym is a word that has the same or similar meaning as a, another word. So when you think synonym, think similar. Like a synonym for pretty could be beautiful. A synonym for cold could be cool. So words that are similar in meaning. Um, when you're speaking, when you're writing, one of the best ways to expand your vocabulary and to avoid using the same words um, is to use synonyms and use a thesaurus to find them. Um, a, th <laughs> a thesaurus um, is like a dictionary, um, except for instead of um, giving you the definition of a word, it's going to give you similar words. So it's going to give you synonyms. Um, and I, you, I've used a thesaurus my whole life, especially during middle school, um, high school, college, writing paragraphs, writing essays. Synonyms really help make your writing more vivid. It helps um, intrigue the reader. It makes them want to read more. For example, if I was writing, the water in the pond is dark. Maybe I could say the water in the pond was murky, right? Murky means it's a similar meaning to dark, but it makes my writing sound juicier. It makes it sound more mysterious, all right? Um, so let's practice taking a look at um, some questions that you may come across in your synonym activities today on IXL. So you're going to go to IXL.com today, guys. Access learning, language arts, topics, and then vocabulary. You're going to go into your different grade level skills. So first grade skills, Y period one, choose the synonym. Um, I would like CS and MW to complete that. For second grade skills, HH period one, choose the synonym. And HH period two, find the synonym in context. I want DAG. Um, I want KT, SG, IG, and RU to complete those. Um, for third grade skills, um, AA period one, choose the synonym, and AA period three, find the synonym in context. I want my friend NB to complete that. Um, so some of the questions we may come across today, guys, um, find two synonyms below. So IXL may ask you to find two words um, out of words that they provided that mean, um, that are most closely um, related in meaning. So that mean the same thing. So out of dad, grandpa, and grandfather, we need to find the two words that mean um, the same, that have a similar meaning. Um, and I know that grandpa and grandfather, um, those are interchangeable, right? We can call our grandpa our grandfather, grandfather, we can call him grandpa, it means the same thing. So I would click grandpa and grandfather. Those are my two synonyms there. Number two, which is a synonym for woman. I know that um, a woman is uh, a similar word would be lady um, as opposed to boy. I know that a boy is very different from a woman. Um, a girl would be most closely related, but that's that's not an option here. We have lady. So lady um, would be the most similar word here to woman. So you would click lady. Um, and then you may have to, um, some of you guys may be selecting synonyms of a word in bold. So finding synonyms within a sentence. So for example, when Tom was little, he lived on a quiet road. Now he lives on a noisy street in the city. So it's asking us what is a similar word to road um, that, that is in these two sentences? Um, what word most uh, has a similar meaning to road, most closely related? I know that the word city 
it is similar in meaning to road. We can use those interchangeably. So I would click on city. City is the word um, that is most closely um, related to or is similar to road. All right. So go to IXL, guys. Complete your activities. I will be in touch um, with uh, to answer any questions or comments and just try your best. Good luck on synonyms.